blah. Kit kittens, kittens, kittens. And I'm so fucking happy that we're playing this. I'm gonna cry. No, seriously, it's my well, favorite. Like, don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is, I love Kirby's Adventure. It's my favorite game <laughs> on any system. Let's delete a saved game. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> you start playing, then it's over. I just blank and it's gone. I'm like, what? It's, uh. I was it ever on the. Uh, the Game Boy? Uh, there was a version of Kirby on the Game Boy. But not this. No. Uh, 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 this is I, my. I, I, I. <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's, uh... What am I looking at? You're looking at Kirby. Like, I don't understand what you're, you're confused you, about. Uh, I guess I'm thrown off by, like, the quality. <laughs> what? Like, for a Nintendo game? This was one of the, the games that came out later on in Nintendo's, uh, life. Like, right. this came out in 1993, if I remember correctly, and... Aww, oh, it's so little. <laughs> uh... No wonder I didn't play it. Mm -hmm. This was. I was oh, a, uh, I was watching the shit out of Sailor Moon. Mm. Who wasn't though? Uh. <laughs> well, I don't think Sailor Moon was out in North America at that time, but. Anyways. What? Sailor Moon was not out in North America at that time. I do believe. I think it came out in '95. Mm, out of the closet. Cause I'm, a, I'm. I'm not gay. <laughs> You're not gay. <laughs> that you know of. I, I don't know. <laughs> what is happening? I don't even know. Basically, what I'm trying to say is this is a game that came out after the Super Nintendo came out. Right. So, it, it, like, they had really perfected making Nintendo games at this point. Okay. So they were really able to push the, the quality. Did you already finish the first level? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it, they're super easy because it's the beginning of the fucking game. I... And I've played this, like, a million times. I've actually played this game and never taken a single hit. That's how much I've played it. Well, I you already took a hit. I know, well, I'm taking hits now because fucking I'm talking and sucking. Okay, whoops. Well then. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Anyways. So well, we, now you have nothing. It's true, I'm a big nothing. <laughs> um What is this? It's a uh a bomber bro? I can't remember what they're called. Bomber bro? Yeah, like, like yeah, real real original name, right? Brit. I gotta save this. I only got one of them. You see that little star in the corner? That means I just got one. So I'm gonna use it when it really counts, like right fucking now. <laughs> Oh, delightful. Oh, okay. Yep. If I was sad and single, I would be such a cat lady. Kirby can't swim with a full stomach. Oh, okay. Let's see. Uh, he's just sort of like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know anything about the whole. You don't know anything about Kirby? No, I know a little. He's a he's a pink thing. Great. <laughs> Good job. That's Best description. Wonderful. Um. He, uh, originally was just a placeholder sprite, uh, back when they made, uh, what was it, Kirby's Adventure in Dreamland? Yeah. Um, the Game Boy one. Yeah. A little round sprite that they were like, we'll figure out what the character in our game looks like later. Right. But then the team, uh, that was designing the game loved him so much that they ended up keeping him. Uh, Kirby also wasn't pink. Originally. What color was he? Uh, well, he was white. Oh. <laughs> that makes sense. In and the original- like, Let's make it cute and make him pink. In the original box art, they made him white because, I mean, the sprite in the game was white. <laughs> it's a fucking Game Boy game. Right. Um, the creator of Curry, Masahiro Sakurai, uh, originally wanted Kirby to be yellow. Right. Yeah. But uh, I guess they settled on pink because it's cuter yeah. and not pea colored. I mean, if you've got pink colored pea, you've got problems. You have your kidney failure. <laughs> yeah, at that point, that's kidney failure right there. Okay. Um. And well, like, okay, so we all had our games that we were really into when we were kids. Um, 
to, oh. to be very honest, I don't think I would really... I don't think I can call myself a gamer, at least a gamer kid. Really? No. Okay. Well, I played like the Lion King on like the Sega Genesis. Oh, but that uh, game's so good! And then I played a little bit of... It's hard. Yeah, it is. I don't think I got past nope. the being a teenager. <laughs> We're keeping that. <laughs> um, but really... Yeah, let's hear it. Um, whoops. Oh, well, looks who, who's fucking... Yup. <laughs> <laughs> look who's fucking yup! <laughs> Go on, yes. Um, you weren't a gamer kid. No, not really. No? Like, when did... Okay, when did you first start playing video games? Like, I, I played a little bit of video games as a kid. Um, something I was obsessed with. I started getting really obsessed, probably in my preteens. What was what was the game that did it for you then? That uh, boxing game for the Dreamcast, I think it was, with Afro Thunder. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah. I got, oh, and Shenmue, remember that? Oh my God, yes. That game that like you could do anything in, sort of. But, yeah. And I guess its spiritual uh, son, I guess, would be sleeping dogs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna say what I originally was gonna say. Let's talk about something else. No, I've always, like, the thing was, like, I was a really sick kid growing up. Yeah. I, I spent time in hospitals, which really sucked. But, uh, because of it, I spent a lot of time with game systems, because it was, like, one of those things that I could do wherever, as long as I had a TV nearby, which yeah. you almost always did. Um, and so I played a lot of vidger games growing up. Oddly enough, though, like... I'm I'm a little too young to be like totally into NES. Like it, NES is a little bit before my time. Right. But yeah, my brother was really into NES. Yeah, I, I played Metroid mm -hmm. when I was a kid, and it terrified me. <laughs> it is a fucking scary ass game. But um, man, you murdered him. He's not really that hard. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, fuck you. But uh, my family, uh, we didn't have a lot of money when I was little. Right. So my mom was like, well, we could get you a game system and like one game, like a Super Nintendo, or I could just get you this Nintendo and get you like a bajillion games because the system, they're so fucking cheap and the games are like five bucks because nobody wants them right now. Yeah. <laughs> And so my mom went with the more frugal option, which is fine. I'm not mad at her for it. No, of course not. Um, so that's why I am, like, I have all the fond memories of N Nintendo and stuff. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, my brother always wanted the newest and greatest things. Uh. And we were spoiled. <laughs> well, I mean, and your brother is older than you, so I can kind of see why he would have- Ah, oh, fuck. Why he would want, like, a- a Super Nintendo and stuff because at that- Oh no! My candy! Oh, well, fuck it. Um... There was some freaky shit happening on the side of the screen. Yeah, the- it looks like the chipsets aren't loading properly? Aw, oh, fuck! My blue! <laughs> I'm sorry. Fuck this. Arbrr. Wow. I need to hold on to this for the boss battle. Oh god. This Fucking- you, It's- the, Is this the, where you fight the tree? Yeah. Well, the tree, he's sort of like a- He's the first boss in all Kirby games. That's just- It's sort of like tradition, I guess. Yeah. I don't know when that started. I guess it's been f since forever that they've always had fucking Wispy Woods as the first boss. It's just sort of the thing that they do in Kirby. I don't know. Also, I just want to say real quick, as a kid, I always thought that was Shredder. Oh. <laughs> do you see it? Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's King Dedede, but... I know. <laughs> it's Shredder. It's Shredder. It's Shredder. <laughs> it's Shredder. <laughs> all right. I think the most Kirby lore I've ever learned was through Smash Brothers, which oh, you yeah? know I'm all about. Yeah. I like you just holding it. No, uh, this is the fucking hacks. This is how you... I mean, like, you can actually fight him, he drops apples and shit, but I'd rather just fucking cheat. <laughs> like a big fat cheater. <laughs> a big fat cheater. <laughs> <sighs> so Kirby lore through Smash Brothers. Yeah, that's about all I learned. Mm. I learned. 
this is actually the first game where he has the copy ability. Oh. Before that, he could, like, inhale stuff, but, um... Like, you just shot that out. <laughs> yeah. I don't need it. Fucking Kirby, man. I'm the king of the world. I can do whatever I want. It could be anything. Cause you're a gay girl. Oh, wow. Oh. Um. Everything is borderline. <laughs> Look, he's got a little parasol. And the falling coconuts don't hurt him. It's cute. Doop. Death! Oh. <laughs> Not death. I hated those things! Yeah, those are the ones that if you try to inhale them, they turn into murder balls. <laughs> murder balls. Um... Yeah, another little fun fact about Kirby in this game. I don't know if you've noticed, but when I have an ability, aside from, like, the freeze one, he, he's peach. But when I don't have an ability, he's pink. Oh. See? Oh, yeah. Get my mouth! Alright. I need to save this. Okay. For absolutely nothing! <laughs> wow. Yup. It's okay. I did not s well, okay, I swarmed it a little bit. A little bit. It's okay. <laughs> I regret nothing. It was all part of my master plan to do this. <laughs> What's that? It's like when you- aw, oh, throw! The fuck is throw? Throw shitty! Watch. Great. <laughs> um. Yeah. What were we talking about? <laughs> How I squander things? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's the story of my life, I guess. <laughs> can I try? Yeah. On the next time in next EJ, you can try. 